day 145 living abroad updates. First of all, I'm in the United States and we've been in the US for like nine days now. Um, we left the United States, my husband and I, on February 4th and we were abroad for almost five months. We went to seven different countries and then for the first time for a visit, we came back to the US and yeah, it's been a lot going on. And that's why like I haven't been doing a lot of living abroad updates. I've really just been trying to like take everything in, navigate through the incredible amount of emotions and feelings and thoughts that have been going on from just like all the things of like travel and then like coming back home and adulting and the culture shock and reverse culture shock and just all the things. And that's why I haven't been like posting as much and I haven't been doing as many updates, but I'm ready to share. First of all, how does time move so fast? Like, what is this? Like, let's not even talk about how it was already about to be July. Like, we can't even believe you've already been home for more than a week. Although I told him I knew this was gonna happen. And like, I had a list, I have a list of like, things I want to get done while I'm here. <laughs> There's like 10 things on that list. You know how many have been done? Like two, two. So one thing I've been doing is really trying to give myself grace around like not getting everything done and recognizing that, Bianca, first of all, you are still trying to adjust to the time zone. Y'all will not believe this, y'all. Every day around like 11 a.m. and like 4 p.m., I get so exhausted. Like I'm like, I'm trying to not go to sleep. Like I'm still in like Thailand time zone. Me and my husband have both agreed that sometimes we feel like like we us leaving was a dream like we came back here and it was like everything was the same like we like got in our cars drove to the store like it was like it literally felt like we could have just picked up our lives and kept going and that was just kind of a very surreal type of thing like we were like wait were we in thailand three days ago like it was just it's weird and it's been so incredible it's been so amazing to like spend time with our family and spend time with our friends and we have loved that and at the same time, there's been a lot of things that have been coming up in terms of like being in the US and like just like cult like cultural things, like things that remind us of why we decided to leave and why like we don't really want to be here permanently. And I think that's been a lot of that there's been a lot of emotions going on around that. Don't even get me started on how much things cost here. Me and my husband said, we were like, listen, we cannot do the thing where we come from Thailand. We can't come from like Southeast Asia and then go to the U.S. and then expect the prices to be anything similar. However, the shock, y'all, the shock of how much money things cost here. Like, y'all, I got a cookout tray. Listen, if you live in the South, you about to feel me on this. Y'all, I got a cookout tray the other day. That thing was $10.22. And I was like, y'all, the whole appeal for cookout has always been like you get a tray of food for like $6. Like... Don't even get me started on groceries. Like it's just been, it's it's been wild. And because we're in an Airbnb, y'all, this Airbnb, eighteen hundred dollars for twelve days. Y'all in Thailand, our Airbnb was a thousand dollars for a month, and that's on the expensive side for Thailand. So there's definitely been a lot of shock there. Um, also, just like the food, it has like some home cooked meals that have been good, but other than that, the food has just been very mid. I can also just tell like things with my body in terms of like noticing that noticing that like yeah there's a lot more stuff in the food here than it is in the other places like it's not as fresh like I am disgusted with what produce looks like in the grocery store I want to go up to the produce people and be like how can you be selling this like how can you look at this and think it's okay to serve to people like what the and y'all the rat race oh my god the rat race the pressure the societal pressure the the feeling of like, it's not okay to not be okay. The feeling of like, everything is about money. The the thing where like, everybody is just always complaining about something, but nobody, I shouldn't say nobody. A lot of people don't even have real problems, but like, we're always complaining about something here. And this culture of like, work, work, work. We talk about work or we're complaining about work or like, work doesn't pay enough and just everything is about work. And the pressure of you're supposed to be this way. This is what your life is supposed to look like. These are the boxes you're supposed to have checked by now. If you don't have this figured out, then like you're a loser. And like, these aren't things that are said, but it's things that are implied. And on top of the fact that we don't really have a solid plan for the second half of the year. Like whenever we left in February, we pretty much knew all the places we wanted to go and like how long we were gonna be there for the most part. But now it's like so much is a question mark. We're also trying to be okay with that level of spontaneity without stressing. I think that has been very challenging for us as well. And right now we are in a spot where we're trying to figure out, okay, 
How long are we actually going to stay here? When we leave, where are we going? Also, full transparency, whenever we were traveling, we were tired of moving around so much. And we do have a lot of places we want to go. So that's something that we're considering as well. Like, okay, if we are going to go somewhere, where are we going to go where we feel like, we, okay, we can stay here for at least like 90 days. That's not in Asia because we decided we're not going to go back to Asia for this year. So there's still a lot of decisions being made. Um, we're still taking it day by day. And uh, yeah, right now we're so glad, we're so happy to be here, but also we trying to leave again real soon. What questions y'all got? By the way, I have a free guide on how to move abroad in the top of my profile.